everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel. How do you like my hair? <laughs> I thought I would just come on and show you guys what I'm dealing with here. Um, this is what my hair looks like when I blow dry it with a cold blow dryer. And I haven't straightened it yet. I'm going to straighten it. So I just thought I'd show. Now I can put it back. Today's video is a Hot Flash Monday, Hot Flash and Wrinkles Monday video. And today we are trying the new, it's actually not new, it's a new, newly formulated Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. I had never tried the light before. I tried the Double Wear and I tried the um, water or something. And they told me at the Estee Lauder counter that this one was like in between the two. This one is heavier than the water and lighter of course than the double wear so anyways that's what we're trying today i have already primed my face with my strabectin line blur factor so let's pull our hair back let's pull my hair back your hair's probably fine right mm. See if we can tame some of this. That didn't work very well. Anywho, it'll be fine, right? Okay, so let's go in. I have a sample. I got a 10 day sample from the Estee Lauder counter. And so I'm just going to put this on my face. Oh, it is kind of thick. Doesn't seem very light. I haven't used double wear in so long though that I don't remember how to, as you can see, I'm having issues with something. I've got one there, and one there, and one there. Don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. And I'm gonna stop doing whatever I was doing, which I don't know what it was. Cause I don't normally try skin things on my face just because this is what happens and it seems like whenever this happens it takes forever forever for it to go away I am going to use my real techniques 360 blending brush 360 degrees is what it says well that didn't even cover that Maybe that's the light part of it. It's like heavy makeup, but light coverage. I don't know. I have to look it up because I didn't. And that's one thing. I didn't get with this. Without getting a sample in the mail, I didn't get a little card. That's okay. I'll look it up here in a minute on my phone. Find out what it's supposed to be doing since it's not really... Oh, covering my spots. Yep. Not much coverage. So, I guess we better see what it says, huh? before we add more. Okay, let's just see what it says about this. It says, it comes in 21 shades and retails for $42 at Ulta. And it says that it is, oh, my shade is Desert Beige. And it says that it is Matte has a fresh new attitude with Estee Lauder's Double Wear Light Soft Matte Hydra Makeup. Double Wear Light is matte reimagined. Softly diffused, always selfie ready. 24 hour non-stop wear, life proof formula, workout, sweat, humidity, weather, and water resistant. Blurs and reduces the look of pores and imperfections for photo ready finish. Lightweight, oil free, won't clog pores, non-drying, and skin balancing. It is infused with 
concentrated hyaluronic acid and controls oil to keep skin fresh, comfortable, and shine free. Light to medium coverage builds invisibly and looks natural. Stays color true. So it's 24 hour wear. If you want to wear it for 24 hours, oil free, oil controlling, transfer resistant, photo friendly for all skin types, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, non acnegenic, won't clog pores, and fragrance free. And it doesn't have a smell. So that's everything you need to know about it, right? Let's see if it builds. Because I can still see all my spots, and that's not good. Why wear makeup if you want to see spots, right? So let's just see if we can't build it up a little bit on the spotted areas. I guess I could just go back in with concealer. Probably should have, huh? This seems like it could get cakey because it's thick. Hopefully it won't though now that I've already put it on there. You guys think you guys like the regular double wear I did I haven't used it in forever but I liked it because it was but that was back in my I need full coverage days not that I don't need it now I still need it I just don't I'm okay with a little bit showing through and having less coverage because I did have to fight cakiness all the time when I wanted full coverage. All right, that looks pretty good. I don't see any cakiness. Let me push it out of the lines a little bit. Okay. Not in the lines on my forehead, yay! Just these awful ones right here. I just need somebody to take all my skin and pull it all up, tie a rubber band around it, and cut it off. And then I'll be perfect, I'll be young again, right? Isn't that what we need? I don't know why somebody hasn't invented that surgery. Because I don't need it just on my face, I need it on my neck, I need it on my legs. Everything needs to be pulled up and removed. I don't know if they do that though. I think they don't. Because that would just be so easy. It's like, why would you need to be charging thousands and thousands of dollars if I already have the solution right there, right? I know, I'm just being silly. I'll probably cut all that out too. Okay, we're going to go in with the Born This Way concealer. So far, I like it. It's not cakey. It's not sinking in the lines. I mean, it was a little bit right there, but it should stay out now that I've um, pushed it out. All right. Enough of that. I do remember the double wear being super dry. Hopefully my concealer doesn't 
take up on it. Okay guys, I'm gonna go off camera, fix my makeup and my hair, and I'll be back. Um, so far I love it. Yep, it's not sinking into to wrinkles at all right now, so, and it's supposed to be sweat proof, so we'll, we'll check it out and let you know. I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. This is the look of the day. Um, if you like these copper halo eyes, they will be up on Wednesday. So far, I really like this foundation. I wish it had a little more coverage, but I'm not, it's good. It's just this big red spot right there, but that'll go away. And it's covered enough of my spots, I think. I really like it, I really like it. It's not sinking into lines at this point. And I'm having so many more hot flashes. So, this is the look of the day. I'm loving the foundation. I will come back at the end of the day and let you know if it stood up to the test. But so far, it looks good. So, I'll be back at the end of the day. Okay guys, I am back. It is the end of the day. I'm stopping a little early today. It's only like 6.30, but I... I'm ready to take this off, all of it. Um, so, and I'm telling you that this foundation, it is the bomb. It is so good. It has not sunk into lines at all, at all. And I've had plenty of hot flashes. So I am definitely giving this one a thumbs up. It is holding up perfectly. And yeah, I still have to straighten my hair. Mm -hmm. Probably not going to do it till tomorrow morning. Anyway, I like it. I think it's great. It held up to the hot flashes. It held up to the wrinkles. And I certainly got those. Yep, it looks great. It looks just like it did when I put it on. It's held up and it's probably been... Well, if it's 6.30 now, and I probably had got it on by 10.30, so that's seven hours. It's not a long day, but it's long enough for me. <laughs> I don't want to wear my makeup longer than that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Make sure you share this on all your social medias so that we can grow our family. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!